comfortable uh, when according to my yeah charts and everything so uh, let's begin this um, it's not a live stream it's just i'm recording it and my trading view is not loading in wait a wait a second guys oh this is not <laughs> all the shit where is it where is it the trading view is loading wait a little bit guys a little bit a little bit i will edit it uh, and uh, post it by cutting this waiting and that, that would help you to get some more times uh, easily it, it can help you and framing that section from this video will help a lot and it is taking a lot of time and this is disgusting and i mean that um, it may be the issue of the network connection or whatever my pc is problem or anything i don't care it's uh, here we got this ethereum chart and before we get into this ethereum price action and the technical analysis we uh, definitely have to look back at what is the condition of the bitcoin usdt uh, right now btc uh, what's the price and uh, where is the next move and where it is heading right now and uh, everything every single thing i can tell you the people uh, don't often like my videos uh, they don't like my videos they are following the people they are telling right now even right now the btc is and uh, officially have entered into a bear market we have we have got a bear, death cross and at this time even at this time some youtubers i'm not uh, saying them by taking their name but they are only pointing to the one direction <laughs> and they are getting you to the wrong direction guys and uh, they are not telling the truth to you and, <laughs> and uh, my, maybe they, they may have uh holding some <laughs> shit coins that's why they are promoting the, uh, the, the the something and here i'm uh i'm only uh talking about the truth and reality and th this is not a financial advice anything in this video is not a financial advice don't take it this is I don't know, as an advice and it's all my um opinions that i could find from this chart okay <laughs> and uh, let's begin let's begin guys and this is the uh, here i could point it out to this um uh cup and handle pattern this cup and handle pattern was forming uh, yesterday and we have got a four hour can cross out exactly 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 this how only 42 minutes left to get that four hour can cross confirmations uh to officially declare that we have below this cup and handle formation you can see this clearly at the one hourly chart yes we guys we have bragged down from this cup and handle pattern it's obvious um uh yeah still BTC is trying to get about that but uh, it can get a massive massive rejection from the anywhere anywhere from this point and again it can come back down around this point and it can test this this is a demand zone it has tested a lot of times i think that it had tested uh, this time once and two and i i think it twice and uh, once and twice and uh, it, it has touched uh, three times over the past weeks uh, uh past month we have been in this range from this the 40k uh 42k to 30k yeah on, a, on an hour it's one month we have passed at this uh, level so what's next what next this is a question that i am uh, uh, listening and my, my uh, overall my youtubers or my telegram uh communities is asking me uh very usually <laughs> at these days and the people who wanna know <laughs> where this shady price is going so uh several posts and sort of my predictions and i can uh pick you that from the telegram that i had post written uh, yesterday yeah and uh, this is my uh telegram group that it's a public group and it is not a premium group and uh, it's a, absolutely it's a free group and sometimes i will post the uh direction or some resolution about the price of the bitcoin at this group and the people it is it's like community service i'm doing that uh it's uh, people i have a lot of use cases with, with that group and it's my premium group and uh and i'm, I'm giving the both links uh not both links but the yeah the links of these groups at my uh this at my the description of my youtube video and you can see that this is the june 21 and uh yesterday i posted this cup and handle pattern and this and uh i i said do my paper that this is june 20 and inverse cup and handle formation uh if it is very breakdown we can see the btc around 28k but we have a good support at 30k level this was my 
analysis yesterday and i had to do one video with that but i uh, i haven't got any enough time and uh, the price is now heading to exactly it's more clear that we are we are heading right now into the 30k level but i think it's it's it has become more weak uh, weaker and weaker whenever it stretches some more more time so the liquidity here will be become decreaser and uh, there does have slight little bit chance to get from a bounce a strong bounce from this at least in this region or oh, uh, it won't be that much stronger and i think that the price can come down below the 30k and uh, at least to this uh, 28k is possible but uh, yeah yeah it's, it's possible and uh, but I, I did the, a short from this 36k dollar level and uh, we took the profit uh, the half of our profit at the 32k level and the remaining of the 25 percentage will close at this level only uh, 25 or 20 percentage will remain to this this section below the 30k level and will cross up after of that final cross is final target is around 28k level uh yeah i'm not pointing the exact point but it's around the 28k level if uh, it is only possible to get that if we are not getting a bounce from this region if you are getting a hard bounce from this region with a huge momentum you can see that the momentum indicator you can see that's rsi whenever we're plotting the rsi we can see that's the direction of the price and how this is going is skyrocketing its momentum is we can measure that right now it is in the huge 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 um oversold region right now and the daily perspective we, we are uh yeah, we have we we have already uh, headed into the bearish control zone. We we are in the bearish control zone, and uh, we have a good chance to get down uh, at least to this point of the 28 of RSI, and it is pointing to the price uh, level of the 28k. I'm I'm very really damn no, I'm not sure damn sure, but uh, have a good possibility. And everything in this cryptocurrency or whatever securities or assets you are analyzing, you can only talk about these probabilities, not the well, not with a hundred percent of certainty or even a ninety percent of so certainty there they, they, they won't be and other things that uh, you might have to be noticed that uh, ethereum's uh, historical biggest biggest option expiry is coming in this uh, june 25 or whatever and this is the biggest massive amount of uh, option expiry that uh, yeah, I'm expecting a huge volatility at that day, and uh, I, I I can say that the price at least can drive and drop to this uh, um yeah one hundred yeah one thousand and eight hundred level yeah one thousand and eight hundred level at the at this point or eighty eighteen forty two or some somewhere around this and I'm obvious that uh, we can say that uh, uh, we will get drop this this point of one hundred uh, sorry one thousand and eight hundred dollar level so that that's obvious and uh, dodgy coin <laughs> everybody is asking me what's dodgy coin <laughs> that shit coin guys that shit coin oh man it's all about that shit coin so everybody everybody is asking I I can say that the dodgy coin is pointing to this direction of here we have a good massive support at the one cent level so i think it's probably gonna hit this one cent dollar level and before of that we have a good support at this point of two uh, zero point two level but people have the, this is the most uh, coin that the retailers is uh, far more in in the past uh, bull market so yeah and uh, and uh, a few little bit coins and uh, the ada i don't know is holding its support uh, level at this point and we are officially crossed below that and uh, my what is my city moving averages yeah the immediate short term analysis will be coming up uh, i'm also uploading a video because uh, behind of that and the overall markets are uh, s&p 500 then i'm expecting a correction a big massive correction the s&p 500 that's why that may be the one reason that why we are Wow, it is it is about to cross below uh, this four four thousand dollar level uh, immediately uh, immediate for the immediate short term we can drop below this trend line and this could be and whenever you see that the global market is dipping and we can see a massive massive amount of uh, drop in this uh, Bitcoin also and this why what the heck I <laughs> would draw that trend line there my boys. Uh, 
yo man uh, it's fine right now it's fine it's almost fine and uh, we, we can drop below this trend line and it will be a black bath in hearts not, not, not only in the descriptive space but all but also overall in the market whenever we, we are looking at the XIU USD and where this money is going I think it's going to the housing uh, department also. wow gold got a good support from this region gold is not uh, no, not actually following the S&P 500 and I think that we will get a soon we will get a golden cross in the gold <laughs> golden cross in the gold it's it's obvious man it's uh, uh, it's um I'm bullish uh, about about the gold and I'm I'm going to buy some future contract about the gold so it, it's about to get the golden cross it's uh, only a few days and how many days we can calculate that it's very easily so uh, we have to pull up a 55 uh, moving averages uh, and if it is if it is not crossing not crossing 55 is a lot of below this royal level and i think it's 45 45 do does 45 has crossed about that so yeah 45 has uh, a little bit closer about that point and i think in uh, five days if the price is uh, not dipping below this point we'll get a golden cross in the gold within five days and it's not a strong cross and it's about a little bit and a strong cross will be like uh, 46 or 46 yeah yeah 46 yeah yeah it's not 46 but uh, 44 or 42 or 43 or whatever so let's let's plotting that yeah 43 is a little bit uh, clear cross over a uh, golden cross and I think that within the seven days we can get a clear cross of this um, golden cross in the gold <laughs> golden cross in the gold jar gold spot and uh, this is my uh, favorite on the exchange so you can get that if we didn't get a cross below that so it's it's a condition if we if we don't get a cross below this range so we can get a golden cross in the gold between this upcoming seven days it's around uh yeah right now today what's the date uh, it's june 21 and uh, at least within the june 28 we can get a golden cross in this gold man gold gold and the only condition is we have to hold this support level if you are breaking down below that it can my it might test this level and there's have one more support level before we dip in. this is a potential support level we have hold of that i think that is a two times or more so yeah if it's breaking this line and we can see that this is the final trend line so it's a major support level so i think that the gold uh, yeah gold is uh on the other side um has crossed from this oversold region it was the overbought region that's why the man maybe a lot of people may have shorted and also we we have got a bearish divergence on this we can see that the price not not uh, not that divergence is uh, it, it's clear it was clear that momentum is losing uh it was it's a damn clear sure that and uh ethereum is also dipping uh, yeah I said I said that Ethereum price target yesterday. Yesterday that I had posted that not not only yesterday, but uh, a few days ago on the June 17th. So uh, I said that Ethereum is gonna get that two uh, thousand and hundred dollar level. And yesterday I I, I said that uh, I'm expecting a drop to at least one thousand and eight hundred dollar level at for the ethereum price target so i'm getting i'm, I'm waiting to get that and uh, what about the trx and trx oh, oh man <laughs> it's bloodbath exactly it's it's crossing below that uh, that long holding trend line uh, this was the support line and maybe short is get make a lot of profit uh, from this shorting say short side of the market when whenever you you see the market is ripping you have to play with the trend trend is your friend under the very end so you have to play with the trend you can short right now this three rx and and at least you this, this can give you a profit um th here we have a support a long holding support and before of that there may be a little bit of support levels because it's a daily candle so uh if you are shorting right now you may have to put a stop loss at least to this level so it's a, it's a highly volatile days of this market and whenever you put the historical volatile percentage you can say that you can see it's um voltage is going and driving into the contraction phase on the daily and uh, when we are plotting this btc's and btc is also decreasing the volatility and it's going to a contraction phase on the voltage basis it's uh pointing that uh we are going to an immediately immediate short time for we are going we are we are going to a consolidation phases which will be more likely a boring market more boring fucking boring you know that uh, it was it had happened this past bear market uh yeah not, not bear market and when we got the bottom uh, of this in march 90 
220 yeah it was around that level um uh, yeah th th this uh this was this uh, this region <coughs> here we got that bloody bloody consolidation level the price uh was around this region from this uh, this point to this point uh, yeah from uh, between the ten thousand dollar level and also between this it was like um yeah it was like more likely this a uh, nine thousand and ten thousand dollar between price played between the clearly by clearly saying that it was around between this eight thousand and ten thousand ten thousand dollar level and how many how much time it, it played uh the, how many days how many day, days with the word the price there so if you are if you are measuring this we can we can get that it was around 100 days three months of time since it's a bit it's massive it was a massive massive consolidation we are we are heading to that control consolidation but it's not telling us the direction the volatility indicator is not telling us it, it won't tell us the direction where the market is going it's only uh, tells us the ex expansion and the contraction phase of the phase of the market so uh, the consolidation may be at this point or maybe at this uh, uh, maybe uh, after this come coming into this breaking into this level it's if if bdc is breaking this uh, 28k level support it's obvious that it can drop to the 20k because we can see that uh, here this 20k is the neckline of this head and shoulder pattern and in this bdc chart you, you can see that it is forming a potential head and shoulder pattern the head is very very big a huge big and you can see that this is the uh, left shoulder and this is a head and this is our uh, right shoulder and if you are breaking this is the 28k is the neckline that's why i point out that 20k would be 28k would be the uh, the uh, th that's why i said my short target at this point and uh, we may get a bounce from this region if you are not getting a bounce if you are um, breaking this level very hard and we can see the btc at around the 28k 20k level so um, maybe that consolidation phase will be at there and th that's why I, I i i said you i told you that the volatility based indicator is not telling, telling us the worst direction of the price is going so it's only telling us the the worst the yeah the phases and um, uh, phases is happening in the market so it's my analysis guys and i uh, i could claim uh, i could uh, i'm hoping that i hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, i think that i could reveal all these um, real realistic more, more realistic uh, analysis about the crypto market so i think it, it's not I, I don't want to make the people very happy about the market i, I only want to make this videos um by by revealing some truth and the people will be happy whenever they see uh whenever this they see some post of me uh whenever they watch the youtube videos the btc is going to 100k it, it, <laughs> that's why a lot of youtubers got um their views but they, they, they could lose half of their views that that was from the retailers so no no institutions will watch their videos <laughs> and uh why did they lose they were, uh, they were saying an astronomical price target, and I, I could say I, I could see someone is telling that Cardano is reaching a, a fifty dollar at the end of the year. It's it's not gonna happen, guys. It's not gonna happen. And somebody is telling that the Bitcoin is going to hundred k by the end of the year. It's not possible right now. So, <clears throat> yeah. These are my analysis right now. That uh, I'm, I'm more uh, like the bearish right now uh, rather than the bullish. We have officially got the uh, the death cross on the daily chart, and I think that the price is uh, the next. My target is around the 28k. If we are breaking that level, we are um, potentially uh, yeah. We, we are we will definitely we will see this 20k level because it's a massive head and shoulder pattern. And somebody is uh, telling us the 25k there, there may be a good support um but but it, it won't be a huge support it will be a bearish retracement at least to this point or something somewhere and after that we will collapse to this price at, uh, at the 20k level and there uh, there when, when the price of the bitcoin is reaching the 20k level i will definitely go for a long or buy for my um uh, I, will, I will fill my bag with bitcoin guys so this is my price analysis i'm a long time i'm very very really bullish about the bitcoin but the shop but, but, but the uh, short term uh, i'm bearish right now and uh, long term means the yeah i can say bitcoin is the next currency of the future yeah it, it's a currency it's not it, it, it cannot be used as a currency and it's it won't be as much as efficient like it's not stable stable its volatility is big but it can be used as an asset uh, like gold and it's the gold of the next uh, this century and the gold of the 
past century was the physical gold that we call the yellow gold <laughs> that the XAU. But uh, the gold uh, of this century is Bitcoin, and it, this is we are digitalizing everything we see, and we we have uh, been uh, digitalized this uh, music and video, uh, the pictures and motions, and right now we are seeing the watching the films and music. So this is we are digitalizing the cash, and why? and what are the benefit of this digitalizing the cash and uh, nobody can demonetize it and nobody can ban it uh, if 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 anybody wa want to ban this bitcoin they have to firstly ban the bit internet uh, from the world it's not possible that's why we are using the bitcoin i'm really bullish over the bitcoin uh, uh, for the long term perspective i mean uh, for, for for five years or this decade this decade means uh, uh, the 2000 uh 30 I, I can say the bitcoin can go above uh, uh, uh yeah it can go above 500k or something uh, b within the uh, 2030 but, but not the end of the year I, I, yeah um i can say that the btc go, will go to the 100k level um by the end of the year it's not possible it's not possible guys uh yeah maybe we will get the first uh, we'll get this 20k and after that the we can reach there but it's not this end of the year it, it may be the next year or yeah the possibility that it, it may be the next year or the upcoming years so it can be ridiculous and it, it will make this my my analysis may make the people very angry to me but it's, it's a reality. I'm, <laughs> I'm not the market. You don't have to be angry with me. I'm only trying, telling what I could see. And uh, it's, it's not true. Uh, it's not 100% certainty. Um, yeah, uh, you don't have to uh, really depend upon my analysis because you don't have to be overconfident uh, upon anyone's analysis. You should have a stand by your own. This is very, very um, obvious that you should have a stand at your own. You, you should have your own analysis and you the decisions are yours and if you are losing your money it's your own money if you are gaining your money that's your own gains and you are not paying anybody any analysis to, any analysis uh, even if it's a cn basis cut or what or it's uh, poor people like me <laughs> yeah the poor analysis uh, they only have got at 24 subscribers on the youtube channel so this is what i could uh, see on the chart right uh, if you would like to enjoy my video, please give me some likes. I'm pretty poor according to my likes on subscribers. You, 24 subscribers, I think that.